so I'm super tired right now, but please just stay with me and listen because this will be my last warning to avoid Pure Flix. Pure Flix came out years ago as a streaming service to promote so-called Christian movies. Well, I'm a Christian, and I can tell you by judging, yes, we can judge certain things. Like, should I watch this? That's good judgment. So if someone says, oh, you can't judge anything, that would be stupid, okay? I can say that again. You're supposed to be judging certain things. And when I see Pure Flix and Mark Wahlberg, I remember Mark Wahlberg. Well, if you go to his internet movie database, look at what movies he's in. And you have stuff like nudity when you type in keywords. So that wouldn't be Christian, nudity in movies. And look at his first movies that showed up. Rated R, rated R, rated R, rated R. So these rated R movies, they blaspheme the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They use the name of Jesus as a swear word. They have nudity, violence, drug use, suicide, fornication, drunkenness, drugs, Satanism, witchcraft, all in these Hollywood movies. And Mark Wahlberg's part of it. So here comes Pure Flix. Now remember, don't be surprised if the if someone as a minister of let's say the devil comes as an angel of light so if you don't understand there'll be ministers of satan that want to appear as righteous but the bible says you can't serve two masters you even you either serve the devil or you serve jesus you can't be in hollywood promoting drugs fornication and then say oh i want to make a movie about religion in this case it's mark Wahlberg. Sorry, that's the wrong channel. And Pure Flix. And if you go to his movies, and before I go to that, you're going to see, when I click on it, Mark Wahlberg is promoting Catholicism. Now, if you didn't know, Catholicism has their own teachings. It's called the Catechism. The Catechism makes up its own rules that aren't found anywhere in the Bible, and they make their own doctrines relating to salvation. They want to play the part of God. And those people that know what they're doing and are trying to enter the small and narrow way to life, those people that are trying to enter that door, that gate, another way, the Bible says they're a thief and a robber. They are a liar. They're trying to enter life sometimes through their own righteousness or they're trying to enter through a false religion. And in this case, I'm talking about Catholicism. And the reason I'm bringing this up, because you see Mark Wahlberg, guess what? In his movie, he plays a Catholic priest. And they're promoting that. So they're going to promote a false religion. And when I mean false religion, I'm saying it has false teachings. You can show and do yourself. Go to the catechism, if you want, if you need convincing, and read it and compare it to what the Bible says. Otherwise, let me tell you, Pure Flix is pure trash. I have this video you can see. I go through it and show you trailers. I got this video, Pure Flix, Avoid. So I got two videos here. And this one I'm going to show you. I don't want to get a copyright, so I'll just have to show you. And Mark Wahlberg says, yeah, there's swearing in the movie. Guess what? I'm not surprised because his movies is full of swearing. You saw that, the R-rated movies. And then you actually see Mel Gibson in here. And, you know, these priests love to be called father and they love to dress up in their robes. And the Bible warned about that, that back in Jesus's time, they like to be called father. They like to be dressed up. They like to see um, they devoured widows. Nothing new today, right? That, oh, you have to give the Catholic Church money for funeral after a person's dead to try to get them in heaven or something. That's not in the Bible after death comes the judgment so by you giving money to the catholic church after someone's dead that's not going to change their judgment on that person it's already um what they did in life is already over and there's going to be a judgment day so for the catholic church to give to take people's money so they can somehow um if they have this false teaching called purgatory that doesn't exist in the bible and once a person is dead oh you can give them money or something after the person's dead for prayers for the dead. 
Mass for the dead. That's not biblical, mass for the dead. They're coming up with their own rules, their own doctrines. Jesus said, watch out, beware of doctrines of men. And there's other things like praying to Mary more than Jesus Christ. Praying to Mary, what? She's blessed, the Bible calls, right? She gave birth to Jesus Christ, our Savior, for us Christians that are listening. She's blessed, but she's dead. And you don't pray to the dead for one. And one, there's only one interceder between the Father and us, and that's the Son, Jesus Christ. So you pray to Jesus. The Catholic Church prays to Mary. Jesus is the Savior. But if you read their catechism, they'll say, oh, Mary is the co-redeemer. And that's their teachings. Well, she's not the co-redeemer. Jesus is the only redeemer. So here's Mark Wahlberg. And you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to promote Catholic false, false religion to thinking people it's Christian. Mel Gibson appears right there. So Not right there, but somewhere in this Mel Gibson appears. And then not only that, but... They're going to think, oh, Mark Wahlberg, right? He's that uh, Hollywood actor. Wait, isn't... Oh, that's right. His movies are full of profanity and mocking God. R-rated movies. And God says he's not mocked. Don't be deceived. God's not mocked. Whatever you uh, reap, that's what you're going to sow. And you sow violence and drugs, that's what you're going to reap um, to the flesh. So I personally think this is done on purpose, that they're bringing in a Hollywood actor to so-called Christian entertainment. And look what they say, have faith in your entertainment. Well, I don't have faith in you, Pureflix. And the Bible says, don't trust man as far as putting your faith in him. It's, it warns about that. Who are you supposed to put your faith in? God. And faith cometh by hearing and by the, and hearing by the word of God. So you can have faith in the King James Bible, the word of God. You have the Bible. You can have faith in Jesus. You can have faith in God because God's not a liar. God's true, just like the word of God's true. But if you have faith in some TV show or movie, that's worldly to have your faith in entertainment. So that should be your first warning sign. But your second warning sign, if you just click on their videos, is Mark Wahlberg appearing when he's doing satanic Hollywood movies. And I call them satanic because, again, they're full of all that stuff that's going to lead people to hell. So don't be deceived by some of these actors that are just in some Christian movies and they just want to see, well, some of them just want to be on TV or movie. Whatever happens to deny yourself, take up your cross, deny worldly lust. Or some of these people just want to get famous and get rich. And what about you, viewer that's watching? Are you being convinced about some of these Hollywood movies that are no better than Hollywood movies, these pure flex movies? They have violence and suicide in them and um, stuff that... You can see sometimes in there that shouldn't be on screen for um, people that are in the male and female. They have stuff in movies that shouldn't be there. So are you convinced now? A lot of the stuff they show on the biblical movies aren't even accurate. And a lot of times it's mocking. It's subtle. So why are you still watching this then? If you've been convinced, and why are you still watching? You shouldn't be watching these Pure Flex movies. And again, I, if you go to the channel, I'm just saying that because... You can see there are other ones. I go through examples, movie after movie of Pure Flix going against the Bible. And it's not good what they're doing. I think it's done on purpose. The Bible says this is a spiritual war. It says, watch out, your adversary, the devil, walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Whom he may devour. How is he going to devour you? Through reaching you somehow, right? Maybe the, some of these churches, some of the movies, some of the music, what people are watching to change their morals. But the Bible says don't be transformed by this world. But it talks about renewing your mind through getting in God's word, through the Holy Ghost, by praying, by getting born again through the Spirit of God and washing in, away your sins through the blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing of the Holy Ghost, washing of the water and washing of the water of the word. Think about heavenly things. Think of pure things. Think of good things. Anything of a good report, think on those things. Anything, anything lovely, think on those things. But if you're fo focused on Mark Wahlberg and Hollywood movies and these Christian movies that aren't Christian, that are worldly, remember what uh, Jesus said in, in his Bible. You know, he is the word and he dwelt among us in the flesh and he died for your sins and he rose from the dead. And the Bible says that if you love the things of the world, and it's talking about the lust, the lust of the eyes, and it talks about the pride of life, the lust of the, um, the flesh, and you're an enemy of God then. That's enmity between you and God. If you're finding yourself that you like these 
all the fashions, the movies, the music, the worldly music, and you got to check yourself to see if you love those things more than you love God. Remember again, he says, deny yourself, take up your cross. These people in these movies are promoting the world. They're promoting self. They're promoting false religions without any kind of message of taking up your cross and denying yourself. So this might be my last video on Pure Flix. So they had him and somewhere in here, Mel Gibson here. And then they show Catholicism. So they're, you know, they're promoting false religions and stuff. And just remember who, to some of the people that are, you know, promoting Pure Flix. So you got to wonder if you have a mainstream Christian YouTube channel or so-called Christian celebrity, that's what they call them, and they're promoting Pure Flix. Now they're promoting Catholicism. Why would this mainstream internet Christian person or people promote Pure Flix when now it's so obvious, it should be, that not only they're promoting Catholicism that leads people to hell, but also things, like I said, other things like stuff of the world that leads people to hell. So why would a Christian um, person in ministry, when they know better, should be promoting something that's promoting Catholicism and some of these things? Well, they shouldn't be. So this has been your final warning. Um, it's just going to be more of the same from here and going to just be some of this and probably get worse. So they're using this to try to reach Christians because they know a lot of Christians don't want to watch the Hollywood movies because of the reasons said. So they came out with pure flicks and acted like, and, you know, watch out for Middle Eastern stuff and religions and New Age religions like yoga and meditation that they put in these movies too because I saw one time some of the actresses and I think actors were into the yoga. Avoid yoga. It's um, not good, you know. The Bible says when it talks about meditation, meditating, meditating on God's word. That means thinking about it. Where yoga wants you to empty your thoughts and clear yourself of any thinking. And yoga has a philosophy which is a religious um, philosophy that goes directly against the Bible. So that being said, it's not Christian yoga. So watch out for that. It's those kinds of things getting in these movies too. So I hope this morning, if you care, share the video. I mean, my channel is a small channel. I'm just trying the best I can, trying to reach people and pray about it that it gets reached. And, you know, that's why I made the video because I care. You got to care too. You don't want to see your brothers or sisters stumble. And why it's a big concern because you can have a Christian starting off and then they get into these things and soon they, not everyone turns to drugs and alcohol, but then they stop caring about the things of God and they become lukewarm and they leave their first love and then they love some of the stuff either the love gets cold or they love this stuff more than Jesus these entertainment these movies and stuff or they're serving two masters like probably Mark Wahlberg I think would be Hollywood and then tries to promote something else but you know he's trying to be like it's like a form of righteousness but denying the power thereof and the Bible says turn away from such that promote a form of righteousness, but not in truth and not in the power of God, the Holy Spirit. He's not doing it in truth. And it's a form of self-righteousness that needs to be avoided at all costs. And a lot of people turn to false religions, such as Catholicism, to promote a thing, a different religious, to help their conscience because their conscience is guilty. So they come up with a system of um, sacraments called works to try to get them into heaven when really they need to confess their sin and forsake it and find mercy. Because if you hide your sin, your sin's going to find you out. And God wants you to confess your sins so you can have forgiveness through him, his only son, his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. But false religions are made so people can hide their sins and try to help their guilty conscience. But the only thing that's really going to help their conscience is the blood of Jesus Christ. And it talks about the blood of Jesus Christ sprinkling people from an evil con conscience. So this video too, some people just want to do entertainment to take their mind off things. But again, it talks about the renewing of your mind. And that's one way is to get into the Word of God. You have to be born again. And then get in the Word of God. You have to understand it and do it. Because if you are a hearer only, you're deceiving yourselves. 
You got to be a doer of the word of God. You can't just be sitting and doing nothing. And remember, too, the people that uh, face persecution are the people that are living a godly life in Jesus Christ. The doers that are living a godly life in Jesus Christ, they're the ones that are being persecution. And that's actually promised to you. Those that live a godly life in Jesus Christ will suffer persecution. And it talks about we're appointed to tribulations. So if you don't want to have any problems as far as tribulation, I'm telling you, expect them as a Christian. And you have to endure them and be confident in Jesus Christ and what you believe in. Because if once persecution happens, you get made fun of or maybe beaten up and you decide not to become a Christian anymore, you've fallen away and you're not a Christian anymore. And likewise, too, when these movies, entertainment, video games, uh, worldly pleasures, music, sometimes, again, it can be just that, sports. It doesn't always have to be drugs and drinking, but sometimes that's that, too. But there's other things like, too, like riches and money and people just spend their time, movies, video games and music. And there goes their religion because the cares of the world got in the way and talks about choking out the word of God. So this has been a warning against Pureflex. I think more and more people are going to see it as they keep promoting false religions. And now they have swearing in their movies, which they had violence before and suicide before. So nothing new. But if you like some of these movies, like, oh, but I like Overcomer, you might say. I like that movie. I like Facing Giants, you might say. Well, what are they saying about this? Now imagine if you came out with a movie that you wanted to make a Christian movie. And then you find out that company that's streaming your movie all of a sudden it's promoting Catholicism. And you know, if you're a Christian listening to this, like Catholicism, I explained it goes against the Bible. And now you had that movie. Wouldn't you try to say, oh, I don't want nothing to do with Pure Flicks. But is Facing Giants or Overcomer, are they going to just keep pr promote, promoting their movies? I think they will. Because again, watch out for the love of money. You have erred from the faith. And remember, those movies too had stuff like Overcomer. They had... Um, on the drama team, someone that's effeminate. So the Bible says the effeminate won't inherit the kingdom of God. So if you have a guy acting like a woman, talking like a woman, dressing like a woman, and the Bible says, watch out, the effeminate won't inherit the kingdom of God, which almost seemed like they had that in um, Overcomer as the drama club guy. Not only that, but they had, who did they have? They had, um, in some of their music, um, I don't know if it was Casting Crowns or Three Days in one of their um, movies. So they have The Rock. They try to get... See, what the movies are doing here, it's it's taking that and then doing the movie industry. And where CCM, also known as Radio Christian Music, um, sounds just like the world's music, just with some Christian lyrics. And sometimes the Christian lyrics are actually going against the religion. So sometimes they use the lyrics to go against the religion. But also they use the drums and guitars to get people in the world so they don't leave, let's say, some of the other music. And then when you say, hey, you got to get away from this music, they're going to say, well, the Christian music I listen to sounds like the same thing. Well, it's because it is. You can't just be thinking, well, I'm just going to call this Christian. You know, I'm just going to make this movie with swearing and, and all this other stuff. I'm just going to say it's Christian. I'm just going to play my music however I want, as loud as I want, as um, it doesn't matter if there's any melody. I'm going to make the lyrics whatever, and I'm just going to say it's Christian, right? That doesn't work like that. you got to see if it lines up with the Holy Spirit and the Bible and what Christ taught. So if you find yourself in that music, get away. Because I'd say just as they're using these movies, they're using bands like Three Days and uh, those kind of bands whether it be Chris Tomlin or Casting Crowns, they're using those bands, same thing, creates a lukewarm generation of Christians that are still in the world that could find themselves in Judgment Day saying, Jesus saying, I never knew you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Or maybe Jesus will say, in my word it said, love not the things of the world, and, and, and show up, look at, look at your life. You just lived for the music and fleshly desires. You didn't live for the truth. You didn't obey what I told you to say. So that's why I'm doing this video is to warn you guys because it is a spiritual battle and that's what they're using, um, like the movies and music, to influence the generations. And just look at what happened over these um, last few generations. 
the movies came in, the music came in, and then there's less Christians. There's less people. There's a lot of Christians in name, but again, you have to obey God's word. You have to understand it. And then um, secondly, now with the Christian churches and the music and the movies, it's just like the world's movies. Um, it still has the same things in it. Maybe less swearing, but it still has swearing. Maybe less violence, but it still has violence. And the music, what does it have? If you take out the lyrics, it sounds just like the world's music. And then if you take the lyrics, sometimes it sounds just like the world's music. So being a Christian, you're supposed to be sanctified, set apart. You're supposed to be different, where people notice that. The Christian music, no one's going to really notice that. In fact, a lot of non-Christians will like that music. Just like these movies, a lot of non-Christians will like these movies. That should be your warning sign, one of them. So, I mean, pure flicks, if people can't see it at this point. But again, for those other Christian movies that you might think that are Christian movies, like Overcomer, Facing Giants, we can't, we discussed this, how they had the drama club guy being effeminate, and then they used the mainstream music in all these movies. A lot of these pure flicks movies, they used the rock music and stuff, CCM. So now that this movie is coming out, Pure Flix is promoting Catholicism. Just like we see certain bookstores, like Christian books sell. You know, that's another topic, but I did warn against Christian books. They'll, not, to, not to say you can't find some stuff there, like you can find Bibles. But um, the, Christian, the bookstore is selling just a bunch of garbage. And that's why I said Pure Flix is pure garbage. Just like a lot of the Christian bookstores are pure garbage what they're selling. So just because it says it's a Christian bookstore doesn't mean the books are even Christian. So just stick with the Bible. That's the book you need. So And I say, you know, if you can read English, use the King James Bible. And I have videos, if you want, on that topic about the King James Bible. You can check them out. So this has been a warning. Um, who next? Like, what Hollywood actor next? Are they going to bring in Leonardo in here? Are they going to bring Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? Same with the Christian music. You think some of these mainstream artists are going to come? Like, oh, we have now um, Korn and Metallica. You know, we're going to have those guys switch to CCM. Uh, why not? Right? Because it's basically a lot of artists that aren't Christians, and they'll say that themselves. And I remember one Christian artist, so-called and name only, came to where I lived, and the, in the news it said like they had to pay him like it was something like seventy thousand dollars just for a day, and and I think that was just him. And unless there was one more band or something, but it was something like ridiculous like that, 70000 So a lot of these, just like the movies and music, they're in it for the money, they're in it for the fame. And some of them are doing it to deceive you guys. So they're ministers of Satan, right? So Satan himself being transformed as an angel of light. Don't be surprised, it says, you shouldn't be, that his own ministers, he's got workers for him, that if they pretend to be angels of light, when really they're ministers of Satan, so they want to lead people to hell, unfortunately. They're doing it. They get pleasure out of evil, like playing both sides. Like, oh, I'm going to do some you know, witchcraft, and then I'm going to pretend like I'm doing something good here as a kind of a white magic kind of thing. But it's all of the devil, white magic and black magic. So void magic, the gathering too, that's of the devil too. So some people don't want to be a Christian. The Bible says you got to count the cost. They don't want to be a Christian. Oh, no, I have to give up my Magic the Gathering cards. Yes, you do, because it's promoting witchcraft. Oh, I have to do this. Yeah, you have to be stop becoming a drunkard. But you can have life through Jesus. That's the good news. And so the gospel is actually good news, but the Bible talks about sin deceiving people, where they get so deceived that they want to hold on to their sin and they think it's helping them. So you don't want to wait. You don't want to wait. The Bible says today's the day of salvation. Today's the day to repent. You don't want to wait. Well, maybe next. No, no, don't, don't. You, there might not be a next time for you. So do it today. So this has been a warning. Probably my last warning about Pure Flex. So take heed.